Good morning. I am looking just a little bit disheveled because I just got back from a little jog. I woke up and I was like, I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood to run. Now I am injured at the moment, but I've been recovering pretty well. I've got a back injury, got a ligament strain, and I've got a dodgy foot. So it was a bit risky. And I went out with the idea of doing a kilometer on and a kilometer off. And then I ended up just jogging quite slowly the whole thing. It was kind of one of those Forrest Gump type runs where you just feel like you could go and go and go. But eventually I stopped at 13 kilometers. I was like, let's be smart here. Just stop, see how your body responds and you can always run another day. So I just finished that. I'm looking rather sweaty. I definitely overdressed because I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna be able to run. So I ended up just dressing as if I was gonna go for a walk and it was a bit chilly and I was sweltering, but it's okay. My route kind of finished in town and I stopped by Pret on the way because I have a Pret coffee subscription and I picked up a coffee. I nearly always get decaf coconut Americanos. I drink so much coffee, or decaf, but I drink so much coffee throughout the day that if I was having anything else, I feel like it would be so heavy, like if I was having a latte or a cappuccino or something like that. So I pretty much always get decaf coconut Americano. And that kind of leads nicely into this video because I thought I would just film a day of eating and what I typically eat in a day. Today is Saturday and it's gonna be a pretty average day for me so I always go for a walk or do some sort of movement in the morning I'm gonna go sort myself out and make myself look semi presentable and then I'm gonna smash out some work I've got some editing to do I need to do some client programming and all that jazz then I'm meeting a friend later for a little stroll in the afternoon probably gonna go and get a coffee and then I have a friend coming over well I say a friend I have a date coming over for dinner so I'm gonna be cooking dinner so I thought what better opportunity than today to film a what I eat in a day and that kind of leads us on to breakfast so I've got back from the run and honestly I can't even bear the idea of eating right now because I've literally just finished running and I had a humongous dinner last night I made a, an entire vat of chicken veggie soup with noodles and I ate the whole thing and she went to bed I was like I've overeaten that but it was so delicious and then I smashed down some chocolate afterwards and a cup of tea and I was like I really don't have any more room in my stomach so I feel like I'm really still full from that but when I do long cardio so like this low intensity steady state what I find is that I won't be hungry straight away and then it will just hit me like that I'll be like bam I need to eat so that will probably happen within the next hour at some point so I'll keep you updated I've not actually eaten yet today I've only had my decaf coffee and it's 10 a.m so probably 10 30 I'll eat and that will be my breakfast. I really just go off when I'm hungry and what I'm craving at the time rather than having set meal times. Like it really does just look different every single day and I think that works really well for me at the moment. I also need to clean my apartment because it is hella messy and I'm feeling majorly chaotic in my brain. Like this week has been crazy and I've also been sleeping so badly. Like last night I got five and a half hours of sleep nine minutes of REM. I don't know if you know much about sleep, but nine minutes of REM is not a lot. And the other night I got apparently zero minutes of REM. I'm like, what is going on? How, that is, that's impressive. So, I mean, we've gone from zero to nine, so we're on the up, but it's still not great. It's really not great. And I feel like it. I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I've been hit by a bus. But then once I got out and I was like moving, all my energy came back and now I feel amazing. So it probably hit me later like a bus. But anyway, I digress. I'm going to get a shower and sort this apartment out, get on the grind. Let's have an awesome day. Okay, so time has somewhat got away from me. It is now quarter to one and I still haven't eaten. I had a friend drop by and we went for a little walk and had a coffee together. And I got back, somewhat sorted my life out, looking a little bit more presentable and realized the time and I still haven't eaten and I've got so much to do so much to do so the other thing that's the issue is that i'm still not actually very hungry and i don't really know what i want to eat like i'm not i'm not dying for anything in particular but i know i need to eat something because i did that run so i just went down to the shop and bought some oats you would have seen these in a vlog recently if you were have watched it the one where i went to that wedding um i've been trying these ones i've been buying these little instant pots just because i want to see if gluten-free oats helps my skin I sometimes feel like when I eat oats with gluten in, it makes my psoriasis a little bit worse. So I am testing it out. These are also milk-free, which is great for me because I can't have dairy just because of my skin again, my psoriasis. Um, it just aggravates it. So milk-free, wheat-free, gluten-free, fun-free, the whole thing. However, it's golden syrup flavored. So it actually does taste quite nice. So what I've been doing at the moment is I've been having this and then I've been adding in some chia seeds just because I literally have some in my cupboard. So I just chuck a load of them in there and I really like the texture it gives them. 
So they're going in, and then I also have been adding, oh, here they are, some sunflower seeds, just because, again, I have them, and just get some extra fats in there. So chuck a couple of them in there. And then finally, what I'll do is I'll make it first, and then I'll add it in. I feel like it needs something sweet, but I don't really have any fruit. I did pick up this banana. One thing I have been doing is dipping protein bars in it, and that's really good, but they didn't have any in the store when I was in there, so I was like, okay, that's not happening. I do have some frozen fruit. I have cherries and raspberries, I think. I'll throw some cherries in. They're super frozen. Um, just to add a little bit of sweetness and flavor and nutrients, I think, probably more than anything. Uh, otherwise, it's just gonna be a very beige meal. And I will chop up the banana and add that in as well. So as boring as this is, I just pour this in. I actually fill it all the way to the top at the moment because I'm a volume eater. I love eating bigger meals. And honestly, I just find these little pots just not that satisfying. I don't know if anyone else is like me. You know these little sachets that you can get of oats? The portions on those are just minuscule. And when I see people eating that for breakfast, I'm like, that just would not satisfy me. That would not satisfy me at all. So I fill this up quite high. I let it steep for a minute or two. And then what I'm gonna do, it's like a science experiment, is I'm gonna pour it into a much bigger container. So I'm gonna use this mug. And then I've got, I know this sounds really strange because I randomly found this in my cupboard, but I've got gluten-free instant oats. And when I say instant, they are literally like, it's literally a powder. Um, so what I do is I fill the pot up really high with water, which means that it's really watery porridge, transfer it across to the mug, and then I add some of these and it really thickens it up and it just increases the volume. So I'm trying that. Um, you're probably asking, why don't I just have these? But this has more texture than this does. This is just like mush. This is something that you'd probably add to like a smoothie or something. So yeah, I'm just kind of working my way through that. It's a pretty hefty bag. It's like two and a half kilo bag. So that was a nice surprise in my cupboard. But that is basically going to be my breakfast for now. Like I say, I'm really not hungry. I'm not in the mood to eat, but I'm going to because I went on that long run. And the other thing I need to do is hydrate because I've been really bad at it recently. And I'm really pot to kettle black because I preach to my clients that you need to hydrate and how beneficial it is for everything else in your life. And here I am, a goddamn prune. So <laughs> I'm gonna drink the rest of this water, fill my bottle up, and then I'm gonna try and get through another bottle when I go and see my friend this afternoon. And then we'll see what we do for food. Let's see if this banana's actually any good, whether it's ripe or not, because it looked all of them looked a little bit green. I was like, there's always a risk. Hmm. That's pretty good. Oh, the other thing I need to do is I need to decide what we're making for dinner. So I haven't actually decided yet. I think I'm gonna make something out of one of these cookbooks. I love an excuse to try a new recipe. And I love Mob Kitchen. Their recipes are always really good. So I have all their cookbooks. So I'm gonna have a little schmooze through here and see if I can find anything. Um, okay, I've already seen so many things. Uh, it's so hard when you're cooking for other people, isn't it? Because of their preferences and I don't know, some people prefer like veggie heavy stuff, some people prefer red meat, some people prefer white meat, I don't know. Ooh, healthy chicken gyros, that looks really good. Oh my gosh, I love pie. The last time I saw this guy, we had pie, so that's a, that's no go. Chocolate chili con carne. Oh my gosh, that's so rogue. I mean, maybe? The tar chicken and new potato bake oh, with tzatziki. <gasps> that sounds so good. Okay, all right. I'm gonna have a little schmooze around. If I find anything, I'll let you guys know. Hello. <laughs> It is, today has been an absolutely awful Ayuna day. If you came here for health as well, you've come to the wrong place. It is now 6.30. I've just finished hanging out with Lizzie. We went for a nice walk and we just basically sat in the garden with her dog and just chatted. She's going back to Asia in a couple of days. So I'm not gonna see her until Christmas. So we're just gonna get some quality time in while we can. And 
I realize I haven't eaten still. So the last thing I ate was the oats. I've just nipped into the supermarket on the way home to get some groceries for tonight. I decided we're having chicken gyros. So I'm going to make that when I get home, but I had to go and get the ingredients. And I bought a few things to snack on. Some of them I'm gonna have when I get home because then it'll be easy to get home. But right now I'm just a bit peckish. So I'm going to have, it sounds so random, but I've literally had no protein today. So I just bought some ham. So I'm gonna have some of that. You guys know me, like when I hike, I just take daddy meats with me. I just love it. And I also got some chocolate. So I'm gonna have a little bit of this. And then I also got a Coke Zero because I was just fancying a nice cold fizzy drink. So like I say, if you're coming in here for healthy meal ideas, unfortunately you're gonna be very disappointed. But fruit and nut, that's where it's at. Fruit and nut has got to be the most elite dairy milk in my opinion. What's your thoughts? To be honest with you, when I lived in Australia, Top Deck was the best. We can't get that in England. So now I have to have fruit and nut. But fruit and nut's really good. I just wish they did it a bit thicker. I feel like it's quite thin. I think it's what I liked about Top Deck is it was really thick. I'm not gonna complain. I've done this the wrong way around, really. I should be having the savory food first rather than the chocolate. You can see where my mind's at. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna eat this literally as is. I just roll up a piece of meat and just literally roll it up then I eat it. I always think this is such a good snack. If you can get into a supermarket and just get some of the pre-cooked meats, like even the chicken or the fish and stuff that's already cooked, so easy. I mean, usually has like a lot of sodium, but who cares really. Um, one slice of this has got 2.7 grams of protein. And one slice. That's so good. So for someone who's not eating much protein today, at least I'll be getting a little bit in now. I'm gonna have my chocolate, I'm gonna have my ham, I'm gonna get home and then I'm probably gonna have some hummus, some carrot, um, a little bit of soup, and I bought some olives. I'm gonna have some olives. Um, and then I'll be cooking because then we'll be eating soon anyway. So it's so good. I just wanna be on a mountain. Ham, mountain. This is always my post hiking drink. It's like a Coke Zero or just something fizzy and cold. The problem I have though is that I could smash this down literally in 20 seconds flat. I'm gonna try not to do that. Right. I need to hit the road, otherwise I'm not gonna make it home in time to even cook. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Good evening, all right, we are now home and I need to, what time is it? 20 to eight, and I need to put the chicken in to marinate. I'm gonna show you the recipe that I'm gonna use, if I can find it. It's a mob kitchen one, like I said earlier. Uh, basically, Let's see, let's see, where are you? Let's see where you are. Also, that snack in the car, that ham did the trick. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but I'm gonna have a little bit more. I've just made myself a cup of soup, a decaf coffee, and I'm gonna have some carrot hummus, olives, and a few bits and bobs. I also ate a lot more chocolate than I should have. Anywho, right, it's in this one, the original Mob Kitchen recipe book, and I'm making this. This is the recipe. This is what it's gonna look like. We hope. I need to put the chicken in to marinate. Basically, all I'm gonna do is chuck it in a bowl with some yogurt, some garlic, some chili, uh, oregano, lemon zest, and salt and pepper. Easy peasy. Put it in clean film and throw it in the fridge. That's super easy. And then I'll probably make the tzatziki as well. So because I don't eat dairy, the guy who's coming over for the date is gonna unfortunately have to have my yogurt alternatives. <laughs> So I did actually pick this one up because the supermarket that I was in only had coconut ones. And I don't know if coconut really is the vibe with chicken gyros. I know that I wouldn't mind, like I don't care. But I know that there's a coconut yogurt that I used to eat which they sell in Sainsbury's and I'm pretty sure they sell it in Asda as well, which does not taste like coconut. And for recipes like this, it's perfect. Like I used to put it on my fajitas as a replacement for sour cream. So when I was driving past Sainsbury's, I thought I'll quickly nip in and have a look and I found it. So I actually picked this one up. So this will probably end up in the fridge for now. I might use it for my tzatziki, but I'm gonna use this one, which is meant to taste like plain yogurt, but it's the Coco brand, it's really good. So I'm gonna make my own tzatziki, I'm gonna use some pre-made salsa, and then I've just basically got some pita breads in, and we're gonna have them in that with some salad. So it should be super easy. On with this, then I'm gonna clean, I've got some bed sheets that I need to put on, I need to organize a few bits. I'm gonna try and squeeze in a few work bits as well. And I'm gonna journal, because I've been getting back on my journaling grind. Oh my gosh, what? What are you doing, Hugo? 
okay, he's not doing anything too bad. Um, so I think he was just, he's just assessing the groceries, but now I need to disinfect the kitchen counters again. That's hey, you can't live with him and you can't live without him. Anyway, before I digress too much and just talk about utter rubbish, I'm gonna get cracking with this. I'll catch you guys in a bit. morning it's now Sunday and I realized I didn't film the end of this video last night so I thought I'd just jump on here now and chat to you the chicken gyros was really good actually the recipe was really nice if you're thinking of trying it I definitely would recommend like I said I substituted the normal yogurt for coconut yogurt and it was really good it could really taste the difference in the tatsiki and in the recipe as well so chef's kiss definitely would recommend and we had it as you saw just like lettuce tomato salsa tatsuki and pizzas super easy super super easy i actually had the rest of it for breakfast this morning because there was like loads of leftovers so i had the chicken cold and i just put some tatsuki on it and had it with a salad and it was really good i also may have had a little bit of chocolate for breakfast as well anyway look at hugo looking at me in the background his eyes are like shining um for the rest of the day i'm gonna be working all day i'm gonna head over to my parents i'm gonna do a little workout with my mum because she started working out so that's amazing i wrote her some programs so i'm gonna go and do one of her workouts with her because tomorrow Tomorrow, I'm shooting at Bulldog Gear, so I don't want to do anything too crazy. Plus, my back is still recovering, and fingers crossed, it feels okay after that run yesterday. So, I'm hopeful that we are back on the path to recovery. So, I'm going to do a workout with her. I might go out on my motorbike with my dad. We go out biking together, so he'll go on his, and I'll go on mine. It's just a good opportunity to go out and ride, and it's such a nice day today. And other than that, I'm gonna be smashing a load of work. I've got a ton of editing, a ton of planning, and then a ton of programming to do. So that is what my Sunday is looking like. And then tonight for dinner, I think I'm gonna have soup just because I have loads of ingredients that I need to use up before they go off. So I'm probably gonna have soup for dinner again, which I had the other night, but it's so good. And it does feel a bit like soup season. So that is basically my day. In terms of the purpose of this video, which was uh, what I eat in a day, it was probably a pretty, Poor attempt because I don't think my nutrition was that exciting or interesting yesterday. You probably got absolutely zero inspiration from this video. However, that being said, this is what life is like. We don't eat amazing, exciting meals all the time. Like sometimes you're just eating chocolate and drinking Coke Zero in the car, and sometimes you forget to eat, and sometimes you're ravenously hungry and you're eating all day. Like it just changes every single day. So I hope that this at least gives you some comfort if that's the case, that these things are normal. It's normal to feel this way. It's normal for your hunger to fluctuate. It's normal for you to be occupied and not eat. It's normal for you to have food on your mind. Like these things are totally totally okay so I hope this gives you some comfort I don't know maybe it gives you some inspiration in a way maybe it just makes you question why I like fruit and nut chocolate because I seem to be the only person <laughs> but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one I hope you have a beautiful day say goodbye Hugo